Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. This is 2 Max Try. I'm Stuart. And I'm Joelle. And we want to welcome you to our channel. As always, make sure that you check out our social media. That'll show up uh, probably somewhere on the screen so I don't block Joelle's face. Uh, but make sure you give that a, a look, follow it, um, and thanks so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, uh, today we have something a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if you guys watch Good Mythical Morning, um, but it is something that we watch just about every day. Mm -hmm. And I think our favorite part of it is Jeff. Jeff. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Josh and the Mythical Kitchen. We've been really enjoying his um, quarantine mm -hmm. videos and how he's been um, showing people how to cook really simple things, but he also does kind of these super wacky crazy things. Right. And we saw this video just a few days ago. Well, during filming. It'll probably be about a week ago right. when this video goes up. But um, where he used pizza as stuffing in a chicken. Right. And so we're going to try it. We're going to give that a shot. Um, it should definitely be an interesting experience. Um, so without further ado, we're just going to jump right into what you need for this recipe. Side note, if you want to check out the original video, we'll have it linked in the description yeah, down below. Absolutely. And we encourage you to actually watch Mythical Kitchen. Um, yeah, we love it. It's worth watching. So, uh, With that, let's jump into what you'll need for this recipe. All right. All right. So in order to make this meal, um, these are the ingredients that you're going to use. First off, you're going to obviously need a chicken. Right? So we've got ourselves a chicken here. Uh, then you're going to need some salt. As always, with any kind of um, any kind of recipe, salt and pepper are always important. Uh, so that's all you need for the prep of the chicken. Um, and then when you get to the stuffing, what you're going to need is you're going to need three tablespoons of butter, half a cup of diced onion, half a cup of diced celery, uh, half a cup of diced carrots. You're going to need a teaspoon uh, or half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Once again, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one half of a large Domino's. Now it says barbecue chicken pizza on pretzel crust. We just have what we have here. So we got some pepperoni and then we got a bacon and uh, banana pepper. So we're going to go with what we got. Um, and obviously, as the stuffing goes, that'll go into the air-dried chicken. So, um, at this point, let's turn to preparing the chicken. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is take your chicken, obviously open it. And Joel and I always have a, an agreement when it comes to meats of any kind, really. Um, and that's that I get the privilege of dealing with the raw meats whereas Joel handles cooked meats so that's just what we got going here um, try not to make too big of a mess with it should probably open it over the sink and not on the counter but it is what it is the first thing that you want to do is take your raw chicken and you want to remove the the giblets and anything else that might be that come with it um, Joel and I have this wonderful agreement that I deal with the raw meat and she handles cooked stuff um, and that's just a fun thing that we do um, so you just want to remove those uh, you don't have any need for them so you can do what you want with them uh, we're just going to toss them and then you want to take a paper towel and just make sure that you dry the chicken Make sure that you get any excess moisture off of it. And you can dry with a paper towel. Um, as best as you can. Alright, then you want to take about two tablespoons of salt and just uh, coat the chicken inside and out. So we're just going to kind of eye it here. Um, you want to just rub it inside and out just to get some seasoning all over the bird there and you can just kind of eye it I 
So once you have it uh, covered in salt, then you just want to transfer the chicken to a casserole dish. Uh, the recipe does not specify which side up, so we'll go with whatever. Um, and then you just want to let that sit in the fridge uncovered for six to eight hours. Uh, it says overnight, um, but we're doing this during the day, so we're going to make it work. Uh, so it'll sit for six to eight hours, and then we'll be back uh, to show you the rest of the prep. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to start with the stuffing recipe. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to melt three tablespoons of butter uh, in a pot or pan of some kind over medium high heat. Uh, and you just want to melt that down. Then once your butter's melted down, you want to add your vegetables and your salt, pepper, and thyme. So you want half a teaspoon of thyme. Then you want about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, you can just eye it, it should be okay, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Same deal. And then you want to just cook those down until the onions are translucent, uh, right around five minutes or so. And while that's cooking down, you're going to want to prepare your pizza for the bread portion of the stuffing. All right, to prepare the pizza, first you need to have ordered Domino's about three days ago <laughs> and put your pizza in the fridge. Then once you have three-day-old pizza, you need to cut up, the directions say half, half of a large pizza. We got medium pizza, so we're gonna go with five slices of a medium pizza into half-inch squares. All right, so once your vegetables are done, they should look kind of like that. It actually smells really good. Mm -hmm. um, you just want to dump it into the bowl and toss or stir it up just so that it all gets mixed together. There's our chicken after about eight hours of sitting in the fridge. It looks like a raw chicken. Joelle has stepped away because she's not all about this part of it. Uh, now you want to take your pizza stuffing and stick it into the cavity of the chicken. This is not going to be fun. It might be hot. It might be hot. All right, and now we, have to mix up we spice mix. are going to be mixing up our spice mixture. For this, re for this part of the recipe, um, you're actually also going to need an order of Domino's breadsticks. We don't have that, so we just made our own breadsticks. They're currently baking. They're currently in the oven, so you'll see those at some point. Um, otherwise, you'll need some salt, you'll need some pepper, paprika, that's that guy, garlic, Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper we got, uh, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and brown sugar, and some olive oil. Now, it doesn't give any measurements, so we're going to do half a tablespoon of everything um, just to be able to 
cover the chicken except for the cayenne pepper and we make it a little lighter on the salt um, just because you don't want it super salty um, and Joel isn't a huge fan of a lot of spice grab yourself a bowl and a spoon and just go ahead and make your mixture All right, so fresh out of the oven. This is our, our breadsticks, or what will be breadsticks. And then in order to cook the chicken, what you wanna do is preheat it to 425 degrees. Our oven is pretty close to that because we cook the breadsticks at, at about 400 degrees. Okay, so now that we've given our breadsticks some time to cool down, um, we're gonna cut it here. And the way that you wanna do this, because these breadsticks have to go right underneath the chicken, with little overhang. So basically, you want the unit of measure measurement to be chicken width. That's yeah. the goal for this. So uh, we're gonna cut these up and then we will, we'll be back with showing you how to place them underneath the chicken. The oh, you're sticks. gonna cut them into individual Oh, do I not need sticks? to do that? I don't think you have to. No? Just leave it like, I guess that's true. We'll just do one large chunk yeah. of bread. <laughs> All right, so we decided to just basically do one giant breadstick is what we're doing, right. also known as bread. Um, and so we're gonna just place this under the chicken and because Joelle doesn't touch raw chicken, I will lift the chicken up. And we're just gonna put this one underneath. And that will just go underneath. Nice little bread yeah, stick right? bed for the chicken. So, you gotta keep that chicken comfy. You got it's gotta be comfy. You know. You know, you don't wanna be in an oven and, and be uncomfortable. Be so alright, now we want to cover the chicken with some olive oil and then we will rub the spread that we made earlier all over the chicken and it'll be ready to go into the oven. I know, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's currently almost five o'clock, which most people will eat dinner around this time. So it'll be about seven when we're done, seven PM. Oh, so I was just gonna use my hands That's your and just slather that bird with about half a cup of olive oil quarter, quarter cup of olive oil that's what I said just like so and we should be in pretty good shape there and then just take your spice mixture and just sprinkle it over Try to coat that bird as best you can. Well, it's probably good we didn't do a tablespoon of everything. You can't see my face, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Joelle told me not to use a tablespoon. That's what she told me. That is a well-coated bird, I think. You gotta give it like a massage. Give it a massage. Yeah. Welcome to Two Max Try Massaging a Raw Chicken. <laughs> if that's something you want to see, let us know <laughs> in the comments down below. <laughs> yeah, get that coated. And I think, yeah. I think we're in good shape. You just gotta tuck the wings under the breasts, it says. Yeah, I think just like that. Because otherwise it'll burn the little the, mm, the wing tips. tips. Oh look, it even has a little. Yeah, it has a thermometer. Alright, so just kind of like that. Yeah. All right, this guy is ready to go into the oven, and so we will be back when it's done. About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Two hours later. I guess.
after cooking for 40 million hours. <laughs> there she is. The chicken, ooh, is done. She looks dark. Extremely tan. Yeah, extremely tan. Now, we're not sure, but this chicken for us took like two hours. Like two hours and 20 minutes. So, we're not sure if what we got was a much larger chicken than what Josh used in his video. But this really is kind of like a baby turkey. Yeah, it's it's a good sized chicken. So, um, but anyway, it looks like it's done. Yeah, so now we're gonna let it rest. We're gonna let it rest for a few minutes and then we will cut into this and we'll see what we got. See what we got. So, yeah. we'll be back in a few. All right, so uh, we've let it rest for a few minutes and now we're gonna cut into this bird. Um, just a little tip for your breadsticks. And I don't know if the same thing happens with the Domino's breadsticks, but ours stuck pretty pretty well to the pan. So grease your pan <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. before putting your breadsticks in. So let's cut into this and let's see what we got. So now we got a plate, let's just, uh, let's give it a try. All right, so I guess we'll give this a shot. Yep, let's taste it. Make sure we get, I'm just gonna try the chicken first. Skin and all. All right, let's go. Mm, that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Um, Tastes like chicken. The meat is nice and moist. Mm -hmm. um, we did put, after probably, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, cover the chicken in tinfoil because the spices were starting to burn. burn. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, the spice mixture is nice. Um, the chicken is, as I said, it's nice and moist. It's got some good flavor to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. All right, so let's give the stuffing a try then. Make sure we get some Pizza and veggies. Avengers. All right. That's really interesting. That is very interesting. Um, it tastes way more like pizza than stuffing. I it think. does, yeah. Yeah, you don't get much of the stuffing. Like I get what Josh was going for, but I'm not mad at it. No, no, it's but fine. But it's definitely a little different. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Like it's, if you're looking for an interesting way to get rid of your leftover pizza, this is it. This is the thing you can do. Um, yeah, I don't know. What would you rate this out of five? Maybe a three. A three out of five. Yeah. I think that's acceptable. Um, I think given what this is, I would much rather just eat Domino's pizza. Fresh. <laughs> Fresh, the way it is. Um, and let's face it, pizza does never, like, does never, never last three days in our house. Yeah, right. Um, and as far as the chicken, the chicken recipe's fine. Um, I mean, I'm still eating. Yeah. So that's a win. But if you're in a quarantine situation, and what you have in your house is some old pizza and, and a chicken, a chicken Go for it. Yeah, I say do it. Um, so yeah, let us know if you've tried this. Uh, it's very interesting. We'll link the video below. Yeah, so that, can... and that video has the recipe and everything in it. Right. Um, so you can take a look and see. His turned out, I think, probably nicer than ours because he's actually got some culinary experience. But yeah, you know. <laughs> um, do we want to try the? I already took a bite. Uh huh. And it's actually pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Oh well. The the top of it is like a little soggy but the bottom is really crunchy, and it just kind of adds the flavor of chicken to cheesy breadsticks. I'm, yeah, I'm so not mad is, at it. This is the breadstick that was at the bottom. That was underneath the chicken. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah it does have the chicken it's juices in there. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think if it hadn't have taken our chicken two hours plus to bake, mm -hmm. and that hadn't have gotten quite as dark on the bottom, it would have been better. But yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. So as far as our rating goes, three out of five, acceptable <laughs> sorry john like you won't go hungry on this um but if you got picky eaters i don't think they're gonna yeah they're not gonna you go know what though maybe they would like it because it tastes like pizza mm. 
It does taste like pizza. Like if you have kids, they're like, I only want to eat pizza. Yeah, well, now so. you get like pizza and veggies and chicken. And it yeah. all tastes like pizza. So let us know in the comments below what other things you'd like to see us try. This one was a little crazy. Um, but we look forward to seeing what you have to offer. Um, yeah, and until next time, thanks so much for watching and for spending time with us. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.